The incident occurred when I was around three years old. As with being that young, I don't remember much from that time, except for one vivid memory. My family had not long ago moved into a rental property in the suburbs of Melbourne. It was a nice enough house, small but cozy, perfect for a young family. It began on a day during winter when darkness came early wherein I was sitting on the couch in the living room watching a kid's show that I can't remember. I was kind of zoning out when the eerie feeling of being watched flowed over me. A tingle at the back of my neck that made me stiffen and look around in confusion. Everything was normal. I heard my parents cooking dinner in the kitchen and my older sister was playing on the ground nearby. I physically felt eyes boring into the back of my head so following my instincts I turned and looked out the window. The first thing I noticed was that the curtains were opened. Even though it was pitch black outside and mom always closed them when the sun went down. Focusing on what's beyond the glass, my eyes searched the whole darkened front yard. A shiver ran down my spine because somehow I knew there was something out there. I froze, and fear shot through my very core when the blackness moved and I saw a shape amid the shadows. There was a tall, dark figure lurking under the large tree that stood in the middle of the lawn. This thing looked humanoid, but I couldn't see any detail. It was just jet black like my eyes couldn't quite focus on it when I looked right at it. I couldn't see its face, but I somehow knew it was looking right at me. I had the feeling that whatever this was, it didn't have good intentions. All I remember is thinking bad when I saw it. What was even stranger was that the pale glow from the street lights left the yard in shadow, but the dark figure cast no shadow. It felt like forever, but was probably only a few minutes that I stood terrified at this thing. My heart was thundering in my chest. I felt like a predator being stalked by its prey. Mercifully, my mom's voice broke through the panic as she called us to dinner. Snapping my eyes away from the shadow, I glanced over my shoulder to where my mom was setting the plates on the table. I sighed in relief at the normalcy. I didn't want to look back but I just had to know if it was still there. So plucking up my courage, I turned back to the window. My eyes widened in shock though, when I saw that the figure was gone, like it was never there. When I saw that it was gone, I did what any three-year-old would do, shrug it off and go eat dinner. I honestly thought this was a dream until I was chatting with my mom and asked her if there used to be a tree in the front yard of our old house and the gray chair in the lounge room. When she told me there was, I was freaked out and told her what I remembered. There were too many similarities to the house and it's weird that I would remember so much about that incident from being that young. So I figured it had to be a memory.